Hey, hey, my name is Jessalyn Tanady and I'm a developer advocate for Facebook open source. Today, I'm going to be talking about GraphQL and layperson friendly terms. Don't panic, let's go. So you might have heard of this mobile app called Facebook. Imagine if you were implementing this app and you were trying to work through a use case where a user is trying to throw a party and they were trying to figure out which of their friends are coming. Okay, so depending on how information is organized, there are several parts of figuring this out. First, you have to figure out who this user is, right? And then you have to figure out who their friends are. You have to figure out which events these friends are going to, and then you have to figure out what these events' names are, and so on. You can quickly see how it would not be convenient to keep asking a server all these one-off questions about all these people. So the people who actually implemented the Facebook app were like, okay, well, what if all this information was stored in a graph? And what if there were a query language for it so that you can ask the graph complex questions about how things are connected? Instead of gathering all this information through multiple queries in a server, GraphQL lets you do all this in just one query. GraphQL was built so that mobile developers can be mobile developers and database engineers can be database engineers. So there are all these neat little features like a simple type system, or if you find yourself constantly asking the same question over and over again, like show me all the friends of a specific user, you can take those queries, name them, and then use them to make up other queries, which makes it easy to write very long and complex queries. To learn more, check out the website at graphql.org. They have docs, tutorials, a huge Facebook community, a Twitter, and if you really wanted to get into it, there are regular working groups for you to meet other GraphQL enthusiasts. If you would like to see more GraphQL content on this channel, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.